in this module we would look into a possible solution or a possible principle which can be used to structure a sharia compliant alternative to insurance we have established that insurance is a good thing to have however we identified at least two if not three problems with the conventional insurance the way it is structured it may involve riba which is prohibited i e prohibited interest it may involve gharar which is uh, unnecessary ambiguity or contractual uncertainty or it may be deemed as a form of gambling so we wanted to see if there was a way of coming up with an alternative in an islamic economic framework unfortunately in the classical books on jurisprudence we do not find a single contract which can be used for insurance in an islamic way like you know we have the contract of murabaha we have the contract of musharaka we have leasing we have this thing that thing and all these contracts they serve a purpose many of these contracts are actually sale contracts others they are investment based arrangements and there are some leasing arrangements however when it comes to insurance in classical era we did not find any example of this type in the form of a concise contract the closest we can find in the classical books on fiqh or jurisprudence jurisprudence is the concept of kafala kafala is a contract of guarantee urdu mein se kafalat kehte hain however kafalat in urdu has a different kind of connotation kafala is a contract which allows one party to provide some kind of guarantee to the other party however this is a gratuitous contract i e the party providing guarantee cannot charge for it cannot say that oh i am guaranteeing this thing hence you have to pay me something for this one kafala is a charitable contract it can only be offered as a gesture of goodwill you cannot charge for it in an islamic legal slash economic framework so this guarantor you know here could be there in an islamic economic framework you know this party has given loan of 1 lakh rupees to this party and this party is supposed to uh, pay at t1 after some time now the party this party may say that you know okay i'm giving you this loan but you have to come up with a guarantor and this guarantor may be able to help the guarantor would be basically saying if he doesn't pay i will pay so in case of kafala as i clearly mentioned kafil cannot charge the party it is providing guarantee for this is what many insurance companies actually do they provide this guarantee this assurance and for that service they charge the person they are providing this assurance to unfortunately kafala is there in an islamic framework but kafala cannot be priced insurance companies do this thing but they charge for it how in the same thing this is a loan contract party this party gives 1 lakh rupees to this party at t not and this party has to pay 
the same amount of money. This is an interest free loan after some time. Now, an insurance company can go to this lender and ask him, look, this is a risky loan. The other person may default. The other person may leave the country. Now, if you want some kind of protection on this loan, we are happy to provide you that protection if you pay us 5,000 rupees. So, pay us 5,000 rupees, we guarantee that you will be getting your 1 lakh rupees. The same insurance company can actually go to the borrower, says, look, you have to return, uh, in this case, this is an interest based loan. The party 1 has given 1 lakh rupees and is expecting 1.15 lakhs after 1 year, for example. So, insurance company can go to the borrower, look, you have to pay back your loan and the, something may happen, you may lose your job, you may fall sick or something of this sort happens. If that happens, we would actually cover for you. We would help you in paying back your loan if you pay us 5000 rupees. So, this is called credit insurance. So, this kind of kafala guarantee is being used by insurance companies, but they charge for it. Unfortunately, in an Islamic legal framework, this cannot be done. There is no price for kafala except an amount which should cover the actual cost of administration. Ye cost of administration hoti kya hai in this context. Agar aap guarantee dena chahte hain ek party ki dusri party ko. Wo dusri party kehti hai verbal guarantee nahi chalegi. Ye stamp paper ke upar likhein. Ye jo legal costs hongi that of course the guarantor would have to incur. However, the guarantor can always ask the party to be guaranteed you have to bear these expenses. And this is acceptable in an Islamic legal framework. Now, if kafala cannot be used as an underlying contract for insurance, there is another practice which actually predated Islam. And when this was presented to Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he actually did not dislike it. Rather, he said this is a good thing. In many Arab tribes, there was this practice of aqila, which aqila is basically blood money. Ek kabile ke ek naujwaan ne dusre kabile ke naujwaan ko maar diya. Kisi waja se ladai hui. Or accidentally sometime, one person would happen to kill another person from the other tribe. Now this other tribe, they would like to take revenge. In order to prevent this revenge, the tribe A, the, the tribe from where the person killed, they could have paid some blood money. Ye zamana jahiliyat mein kafi hota tha. Aur ye blood money kahan si aati thi? The tribes from their income, individuals and families, they would put certain amounts into a pot. Jab kabhi aisa accident ho gaya, us mein se paise leke dusre kabile ko de diye. That was actually called akila. Something similar to this one, I observed in Dubai. Pakistani taxi drivers in Dubai, on a daily basis, they would put something in a box. So, 200, 300, jitne bhi taxi driver hain. In case one of the taxi driver meets an accident and dies, and his body has to be sent to Pakistan, so this thing would allow those taxi drivers or the community of taxi drivers to send the body back, of course, with the help of Pakistan government. And along with the body, they would send some money to the bereaved family. So this is a modern time informal practice, which is similar to Akila. So from here, because Akila was permitted, it is permissible for a group of people to pool sums of money together 
to take care of some adversaries. This principle of Akila is a basis for what is known as Takaful in modern times and we would be looking into it in the modules to come.